Hi, my name's Gary Machin. I'm here today to demonstrate the BBA Signature Shave. So the first part of the prep preparation of the Signature Shave, we're using the face wash as an exfoliant on the top half of the face. As you can see, this is the type of product only using enough to apply onto the top half of the face. We would only use this product pre-shave on the top half because we don't want to exfoliate the bottom half of the face when we're working. So tiny little bit of, of water onto the hands just to let the, pr the product move. And as you can see, we're using a circular motion to apply the product and work the product into the face. Ingredients, key ingredients here are rice particles. You can actually feel the, the particles as you're working it into the skin. And what we're doing is we want to improve the skin condition and at the same time, give a relaxing service for the client. When we're working with this product, we're making sure that we don't get it into the eyes, but we're working it all around always up working up towards the top half of the face then a little bit more product we want to use as a face wash as a, as a general face wash more water so you can see now we're really working that product into a lather it's diluting the product so we're not actually exfoliating the face now we're using it as a general cleanse and this can be used between shaves perfect product prior to a shave we're just using it as a cleanse as you can see we're working it into the face into the neck area this is the area that most gents find they have or suffer from in growing hair so this helps to alleviate this between shaves working it into the top half of the moustache Just finishing off there. And then we use a hot towel to remove the product. We're using easy dry disposable towels here. They've been in the steamer, so you can see they have been heated up. We check on the inside of our arm to make sure they're not too hot for the client. And we're using both hands, we take the product off, working into the nose area to make sure we remove all the product really important this part of the process this is all in the preparation stages prior to the signature shave so as we take that off making sure that all the product is removed ready for the next stage which is going to be a hot towel to prepare the skin for the shave so after the first part of our, our signature shave regime, second towel, this is now the hot towel. Just checking on the inside of your wrist again, bring it up to the client's face. Is that okay, Nicole? Perfect. So then we bring it under the nose, fold it round, and so the actual face is covered with a nice hot towel. While we're doing this, while the, the towel is softening the beard hair, improving the blood supply, and obviously making the client feel relaxed. We're going to use our signature oil, shave oil, and we use just three pumps of the oil, as you can see. We work it into our hands, remove the towel, and then we apply the oil just to the beard area. So what we're doing here, we're using it as a pre-shave. So perfectly just massing, massaging that into the face in a circular motion, firm but not too hard. We're making sure that we're hydrating the face prior to the shave. This has got hemp seed oil and the ingredients, pr prickly pear oil. We're working that really well into the beard. Again, softening and relaxing the client. 
improving the blood supply. So it's oxygenating the skin. And then we apply our second towel. So this is really going to work into the client. Again, checking the temperature. Bringing it up onto the face. So what we're doing today, we're going to show you how much product we're going to use. This is the bowl that we can use for home use as well. We use a spatula when we're doing a professional shave because of cross contamination, but generally we could use this straight out of the bowl at home. We would only use a peanut size of product. And I'm going to show you how to load the, br the brush as well. So, great products. What I'm going to use is my brush. A little bit of moisture in there, and we're going to load the brush. So we agitate the brush and we're going to get the perfect lather for the perfect shave. And it's really important that we get the right consistency for this. So it goes onto the face. We want it as a cream, not too sloppy and not too thick. So we don't want it to dry onto the face. We've got great ingredients here, which are black currant seed and our famous dragon blood ingredients. So you can see we're really working that cream into the brush. We can take this towel off. And then we work the cream. As you can see, it's not falling off the brush and it's not too wet. We're working this really well into the face. making sure if we've got any length on the beard at all, what we're after is to get down to the skin because the whole point of this, putting this medium onto the face is to get it down and let the razor to glide. So what we're after is getting right down into the bottom of the beard and onto the skin. So when we're going to work into the top lip, we more cream, but what we need to do, as you can see, is fan the brush, so we're totally in control of the cream. And there, we put it and apply it onto the top lip. So what we're doing is, we're not getting it up the nose and into the mouth. We're really in control of the cream there. If by any chance we did get it into the mouth, all we do is we take our thumb, clean thumb, and we just run it nice and cleanly over the mouth and it removes all the cream. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you today how to load the Euromax razor system. This is a double-edged blade, as you can see. So before we take it out of the packaging, we just fold it perfectly in half and we can hear that snap. Okay, so that means the actual blade is snapped in half now. So as we open the blade, being very careful, we can see the packaging is there. Take my razor, open it up, and there we have two blades. So it's double use. You can see, there's the blade. We're going to take it, put it into a, load it into the razor, slightly raise, so push that down. Lock it into position. Oops. And we have to make sure that when we do this, that the blade is straight every time. Not on hard service, just on the box that we've used. And there you can see the blade is set and ready to shave. So always check the blade that it's sat level and just test it on the box. Just push down very slightly, never on a hard service use the box to do that and you can see the actual blade is set and sitting correctly in the razor. Always, always close it when we're not in use. This is now the single blade system. We don't have to snap this blade. If you open up the, the product, as you can see, there's no snapping to, to be done. 
we just take it as a single blade. We load the blade exactly the same as we did before. It's the same product, same quality, Japanese steel. Again, snap it into place, lock it, just check it onto the box again. Make sure it's seated perfectly. You can see the hole of the blade. There we have it ready to start shaving. So, we've prepped the skin. We're now ready to start shaving. We're going to do our 14 point shave. And we're using our Euromax blade system made of Japanese steel. And as you can see, it is a disposable system. One man, one blade. We're enforcing the health and safety. You can see I've used gloves from the very start and we're about to start the shave. So, keeping the tension on the skin at all times, we're always shaving from no hair into hair. Nice, even strokes, nibbling across the sideboard area, and we're taking it off. Cleaning the blade between strokes, to and from, and then we fold it in, so we're not leaning into the cream. So we've used our forehand stroke, on the first stroke, now we're going to use backhand stroke. So as you can see, nice and smooth, using short, smooth strokes, taking the cream off, cleaning the debris off the, cream, off the blade at all times. Just repositioning the client, always be in control of the client at all times. You are controlling the shave. So now we're gonna do the top lip. We're taking the, the mustache area and taking nice smooth strokes. Again, folding up, returning. So with there, we're going to take it through to the top lip. Okay, so we've done the top lip area. Now we're going to move on to the sides. For this, we're going to use backhand stroke again, and we're, going, we're working overlapping panels again. As you can see, we're taking nibbling away across at the sideburn shape, taking all this product from here, keeping the tension at all times, into the chin area, again, bringing it across, you can take it off onto the chin, down into this area here, pulling, manipulating the skin at all times to bring it off his jawline. Okay, and then into this area, just below. We can then move round. And of course, we're adapting our technique to the growth pattern at all times, because not every face is exactly the same. So we're coming down onto the top lip area, making sure we just get all the little bits. And you can see, I manipulate the skin around the mouth, so we just, we're just pulling on the skin there. And you can see how it raises the hairs around the mouth, you can take those off. We're not using all of the blade all of the time. What we're after is using the toe and the heel and sometimes just the middle of the blade. So when we're working across the chin area, we're just using a portion of the blade rather than all of the blade. Again, roll your debris up. When we're doing underneath the chin, on this area here, right on the jawline, we're going to stretch that and go down. But when we're underneath the lip here, what we have to do is manipulate the skin so we're actually coming from below. Because it's very hard, this area. We can't actually get hold of, hold of the lip to get the tension. So we go, from, we tension from below and we're taking this up to the lip. Bearing in mind, we don't touch or run onto the pink of the lip because you will cut him then. And we don't want to do that, do we? So coming from the bottom. You can see how easy it comes out. Again, manipulating the skin around the mouth. Coming down, moving the client at all times, just there. And 
and we're coming down to the area as we did before. We're coming down to where we stop, where the growth pattern fit changes. Again, manipulating the skin, so we're coming through and taking it off the chin area. Always from, from hair, no hair into hair all the time, aren't we? You can see, using your backhand stroke, Then we can come round to this area, come through and across the grain, up to that area, reverse backhand. Okay, so there. Nice and smart, looking good. So here we are now just coming to the end of the shave. If we need that extra bit of tension or if we need to use, we're struggling to get hold of the, the last bits of, of hair, we can use a sponge. So we're using normal uh, synthetic beauty sponge, if you like. We use these in barbering for such a long time. Uh, best kept secret, it's perfect for gaining tension where, where we wouldn't usually. So any areas that we need to gain a little bit of te extra tension, we can go in and revisit. But also for, for the areas removing product, and you can see where we can go in and do, just revisit and finish our shave. Remember, when, we, when we're working with the sponge, it gives us that little bit of extra flexibility of getting hold and getting the tension but also we're cleaning up and you can actually feel and hear the hair or the growth on because it grabs when we use the sponge. So, you know, if you were here with me today working, not only is it tensioning, can you see how it's tensioning the neck area like that, but it's actually, I'm actually checking the shave at the same time. I'm actually feeling where that, where that extra hair is. So as you can see, we're just coming down and we're finishing and revisiting the, all those little places that we we just need to go in and get our last bits. So as I'm coming to the end of our shave, our shaving method, I'm going to finish off and using the sponge to revisit any areas that we're, we're missing. We're going to do underneath the, the lip. We, can you see how we pull this down with the sponge, getting that tension? And we can go in, get all that hair, we're almost scooping that area. People always struggle with this, but you can see how I'm tensioning the skin, pulling that right down so we're on a plain field. It's almost straight. Getting those odd stray hairs coming in there. We can come across. Get in there as well, clean up at the same time. Really versatile. Part of the equipment we use when, we, when we're working, we can clean up as well this area when we're working. And then just, just as we can see these odd hairs here that we finished our shave there, and we're just gonna go and reverse backhand. Just take those little bits, just up to that line that we work to, and a little bit just there. Okay, so we're getting there now. We're nearly going to the end of our first shave. If you need to do a second shave, we can do a second shave and just revisit any areas that we want to, only across the, the grain. But I think we're looking pretty good there. As you can see, we're gonna get the, clean these, these areas here, just on below the neck area. So here we are straight after the shave. We're gonna use a cold towel now. This is prior to the heal and protect. This is going to be cold nickel, so just be careful. So offer the towel up to the client. It's going to be cold, it's come out the refrigerator. So we actually apply it exactly the same as the warm towel, but obviously it's cooling now. So this will reduce any redness, any irritation. It'll close down the blood supply if we've got any blood spotting. Generally, it's toning the skin. It's toning the muscles. 
So when we are, we just work that towel in there. This is all prior to moisturising, so this is prior to your heal and protect. We're just working that, making the client refreshed, feeling great. Make sure that all any product is, is gone at the same time. Just really refreshing and toning the skin prior to the heal and protect. How's that feeling, Nicole? Okay? Amazing. Great. This is our award-winning product, Post Shave Balm, which contains dragon's blood, which derives from uh, plant extract in South America. The amount that we use, just on the back of the hand, as you can see, not too much. We just apply, just spotting on the face, only the areas that we've shaved. As you can see, you take the excess off the back of the hand, give you some lubrication in the hands, and then we're going to massage this product in. And this is one of the most important parts of the shave, because what we're doing here is replenishing and helping to heal and protect the skin. And we're almost forming a barrier, if you like, for the skin to revive and to help to replenish the skin, just purely by what we do when we shave. We can dry the skin up, we're taking top layer of skin off as well. So we, we really, really want to just give the skin that little bit of TLC of our award-winning product to finish the signature shave. We're just nicely massaging this in. We finish on the pressure points and you can see how it actually affects the skin. It plumps the skin and it's just building that perfect finish. So that's where we're coming to the end of our Heal and Protect with the Post Shave Balm, the award-winning product. This is the difference between having a great shave and an average shave and leaving your client feeling great. So now we've done the Post Shave Balm on the bottom half of the face where we've shaved. Now we're going to hydrate and replenish the skin on the top half. What we're going to be using is the face moisturiser and this has chamomile ingredients, contains chamomile and Irish moss. Exactly the same amount, about the size of a peanut on the back of my hand. And it's got a very distinctive smell, your clients will appreciate this. And this can be used in between a shave on the bottom half of the face, it's a general moisturiser. You can use it and spill over onto the bottom half of the face. Take it again, we offer it up to the client exactly the same. Again, nice and gently, but firmly. We offer this up and we're trying to replenish the skin of all the natural oils. If you remember, start of the service, we did an exfoliation service using the cleanse. And then we cleanse, we can use the cleanse in between shaves. We don't need to just use it all the time as an exfoliation but this complements this very well. And we can use this and flush right down into the skin where it joins the shaved area. You can see the skin is looking great. And it's really, really sucking all that moisture in and hydrating the skin. Again, not too much. We don't want to use excess product finish onto the pressure points, making your, your client feel great. And just at that point, we just blot the skin. So we just take tissue product and make sure that we blot the skin, taking any excess product out there. Again, use a standalone, but we have done the bottom half as well. So we're gonna just blot that as well. But you, remember, you can use these products together or separately. Great product for home care, home use. But for our professional shave, as you can see, it leaves the skin feeling and looking great. So, here we are coming to the end of our service. How does that feel, Nicole? Very great, Gary. Good. So, let's just recap. We've done the preparation of the skin. We've then done the shave, and then we've gone on to heal and protect. 
But the most important thing is what we're after is making the client feel great and look great. We've done this as part of our education programme today, but at the end of the day, we need to educate our clients in what regime they have to follow. When we're doing a shave like this, it's a premium service. So this is the difference between an average and a great shave. So that's the BBA Signature Shave. I'm Gary Machin. Thanks for watching.